Sandro here from Carcraft Auto Detailing in Melbourne. Today's video is a look at tyre and rim cleaning products and techniques. I'll be reviewing certain brands and evaluating their performance in relation to their effectiveness, safety and ease of use as well as their adaptability for use on other services, cost and value. When it comes to tyre and rim cleaning, there are a few main types of cleaners to choose from, such as all-purpose cleaners, degreasers, specific wheel cleaning products, and iron and tar removal chemicals. Generally, all-purpose cleaners tend to be the least aggressive of the bunch, and in comparison to degreasers, they usually don't perform as well on grease and grime, whereas specific tyre and wheel cleaning products can be really anything from an all-purpose cleaner to a degreaser or a combination of the two, as well as acid-based and decontamination chemicals. Iron and tar removal products are fantastic at breaking down embedded brake dust particles as well as tar and traffic film contaminants, but are best used after cleaning the rims as they don't tend to be great at removing grease and they are far less effective at attacking iron and embedded contaminants when the rims are covered in filth. But having said that, I've used certain brands of all-purpose cleaners that were far more effective in cleaning tyres than other brands of the greasers and many tyre and wheel dedicated products that have been both great and rubbish in their effectiveness. So it really does come down to the specific product rather than the category it falls into or its labelled use. Personally, I'd advise against buying these products in 500ml spray bottles as you will most likely use the whole bottle in one go and at $20 plus an application, it's just a ridiculous price to pay for cleaning your wheels in my opinion. So where possible, I will always buy these cleaners in bulk and even better still is getting them as concentrates when available. And I want to mention that the products here are being primarily tested for their rim and tyre cleaning abilities and value. So even though I may believe that they don't perform great in this area, they may be great for other applications such as interior cleaning and paint decontamination. Another thing to consider is dilution ratios. It's unfair and a bad comparison to take a diluted chemical, say at 1 to 4 parts water, and compare it with another product that's a straight concentrate. So all the dilutable chemicals I have are mixed at the same ratios to fairly test their performance, and for the comparison of this video, all the concentrated cleaners were mixed at a 1 to 3 dilution to honestly evaluate their performance when competing with each other. Also, it's great when manufacturers give you information such as dilution ratios and applications, as it's a great starting point to test these chemicals, but don't let what's written on a label limit you from experimenting and adjusting ratios and techniques to make these products work better for your particular purpose. And as long as you employ a little common sense and do some testing and compare results, you can usually increase the productivity and effectiveness of just about any product out there on the market. And just before we start to have a look at some products, I want to cover the differences between maintaining your rims and decontaminating them. To make the process of cleaning your rims so much easier, as well as maintaining and preserving the wheels to a like new appearance for longer, it's vital to go through the decontamination process of cleaning and degreasing the rims followed by the use of an iron and or tar removal chemicals as well as claying and polishing where necessary to ensure that any wax, sealant or coating that's applied will effectively bond and last for a decent amount of time. But once the rims have been decontaminated and protected, you don't want to use strong concentrations of these wheel cleaners to maintain them, as they will begin to break down and compromise the protection that's been applied. Using lighter concentrations of all-purpose cleaners and degreasers or even just your car washing detergent should be enough to get them clean as long as you regularly attend to them. First up are a couple of products I've featured in a few videos now because of their diversity, effectiveness and value starting with Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner. I tend to use this product at a 1 to 4 water dilution for exterior car use. But as I mentioned, all these concentrated chemicals were mixed at a 1 to 3 ratio to directly compare their performance and value. I must say though that I was quite impressed with the immediate grime lifting action of Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner at a 1 to 3 dilution. 
as well as its increased foaming action and dwelling ability, that really made me question if anything more aggressive is even necessary. But past experiences with some shockingly bad wheels reminded me why more aggressive and effective products are necessary. For maintaining well-kept tyres and rims, this product at a 1 to 10 dilution is a step up on your car wash detergent in effectiveness and is great at dealing with light grime without compromising any wax or sealant. At $45 for 3.8 litres, taking into consideration its great higher dilution performance, this is by far the cheapest and most economical product here. Next up is Meguiar's Super Degreaser. This product contains so many similar characteristics to the company's all-purpose cleaner in relation to its higher concentration, foaming and dwelling abilities, as well as its immediate dirt lifting action. The real difference between the two is the degreaser's superior cutting and stripping ability that you can even feel on the surface with your hands as it really does remove a little more than the all-purpose cleaner is able to. I also use Super Degreaser at a higher 1 to 7 dilution for maintaining wheels that are a little dirty but nothing that requires anything too aggressive. And again, at lower concentrations, it's safe and won't strip any protective coatings. At about $55 for 3.8 litres, it sits at a lower price point than most and its extreme concentration, I feel, makes it the best value product here. Lastly from Meguiar's is their wheel brightener. The truth is that although the company's all-purpose cleaner and degreaser are great at cleaning and maintaining light to moderate soiled rims, they just don't compare to the wheel brightener's performance when it comes to heavily contaminated wheels. I've been using this product for as long as I can remember and there is still nothing out there that I've tried that can match it in both value and effectiveness. 3D Products does have a wheel bright cleaner that is actually cheaper in price, but every time I try to order some in, it's always out of stock, so I can't compare it if I can't get a hold of any, unfortunately. I've heard of many people claiming that Meguiar's wheel brightener is unsafe as it contains certain cleaning acids. I can only speak of my experiences in both personal and professional use that it has been 100% safe on clear coated rims that I've used it on. And for the less than 1% of rims that I clean that aren't clear coated, I simply don't use it. Not that it's going to ruin the rim or do anything like that, it may at worst leave a light haze or dull the finish, which the quickest of polish will rectify promptly. I don't use it to clean tyres as it's not as effective as Super Degreaser for that purpose, it really is just for rims. At about $65 for 3.8 litres, which I use at its lowest dilution of 1 to 4 parts water, it represents great value and efficiency in my opinion. On to Finish Care's 817 Sparkle Plenty Wheel Cleaner and Degreaser. I actually used this product quite a lot a few years back when the Meguiar Super Degreaser was more expensive. But it's now come down in cost to where both products are identical in price. This product really is very similar to the Meguiar's Degreaser, not only in cost and chemical concentration, but also in its cleaning characteristics and overall effectiveness, especially on wheels and tyres. But I would even give it a slight edge over the Meguiar's for its slightly stronger exterior cleaning ability and standalone tyre and wheel cleaner. The reasons I gravitated back to Super Degreaser, apart from it coming down in price, was the Meguiar's had less and easier to remove residue and for interiors the finish care product just didn't finish down as well as a super degreaser nor am I a fan of its disinfectant type smell which I really didn't like for interiors. So really the Meguiar's super degreaser's ability to work on both interior and exterior areas to my liking is the reason why I ultimately chose it over Sparkle Plenty. Optiman's Power Clean is a little different to these other products in both its chemistry and its concentration. Whereas all previous all-purpose cleaners and degreasers have up to a 1 to 10 dilution, Optiman recommends a no dilution or up to a 1 to 3 dilution for exterior use. And also unlike all the previous products, Power Clean doesn't really have much of a foaming action or a long dwelling time 
especially at a 1 to 3 water ratio. That's not to say that it's not an effective product, it just seems to work a little differently. After cleaning the rims with Meguiar's or the Finish Care products, you can see the dirt you've lifted on the ground in a muddy, foamy consistency, whereas Power Clean just leaves a dirty, watery puddle. Personally, I found that at a 1 to 3 dilution, this product just isn't as effective as its competitors. But use it straight and undiluted, and suddenly it becomes a great performer. Cleaning with ease and creating far less of a mess with no fuss and very little effort needed to get most tyres and rims clean. However, at $60 for 3.8 litres, it's already slightly more expensive. And at the fact that the Finish Care and Meguiar's degreasers and all-purpose cleaners perform far better at higher dilution ratios than Power Clean, it suddenly becomes three to four times more expensive than its competitors. However, I don't want to pass judgment too hastily, as I remember the first time I used O&R and thought, how the hell is this going to clean my car without scratching it to bits? But it did. I'm actually really keen to try Power Clean in my carpet extractor, as that's one of the areas where less foam and residue is a big plus. And also just to continue to see if I can tweak this product to get it working to a level that meets my needs. Next up is No H2O's Wheel Clean. I reviewed the brand's waterless wash in a previous video and was quite disappointed to say the least. The basis of these products is that they're meant to work without water, a spray on, clean and wipe off eco-friendly product range. And if they actually work to a reasonable level, I would be a supporter. But plain and simple, they just aren't effective or safe unless you're not worried about scratching your rims and paint. This 500ml spray bottle retails for about $13, which is actually quite cheap for a small pre-mixed wheel cleaner. But my guess is that it's 495ml of water with a dash of all-purpose cleaner as that's about as effective as it is. I think the less said about these products the better, and unless something drastic happens to their quality, I'd say it's the last time I'd be testing this brand. On to 3D's HD Total. This is an all-purpose cleaner I've been testing over the last month or so on various applications. Although I've been nicely pleased with its interior cleaning abilities and great finish on fabrics and carpets, it's a little on the light side concentration wise to what I'm used to and for tire and wheel cleaning it lacks a bit of punch. At a 1 to 3 dilution it struggles to be overly effective but as a straight concentrate it actually performs quite well. The issue is however that at $75 for 3.8 litres it's already on the pricey side and its lower to no dilution ratio makes the value of it questionable, especially from a business perspective. Similar, but with a bit more punch to it, is 3D's 109 Orange Degreaser. Just like HD Total, for me, this is a product I like more for interior use. It has a pleasant orangey smell, is effective but safe on most surfaces, and can deliver great results. But again, at 1 to 3 dilution, it falls short on being an effective wheel cleaner for more than light maintenance work. And just like HD Total, it does perform well when used straight and undiluted. At $50 for 3.8 litres, it represents great value together with its slightly better cleaning action. But personally, I wouldn't really use either product for wheel cleaning duties. And as for interiors, I like the HD Total a little better overall for its superior residue free finish. Next from 3D is their 106 Yellow Degreaser. This is a little more like it when it comes to tyre and wheel cleaning. And at a 1 to 3 dilution, it actually works quite well with a good dwelling time and effective cleaning ability for light to moderate contaminated tyres and rims. But lessen the dilution to a 1 to 2 ratio, and for me, this is where it comes alive and starts to compete with Meguiar's Super Degreaser but it also means that this product becomes twice the price of Super Degreaser and unlike the Meguiar's product, which is also fantastic at interior cleaning, Yellow Degreaser's smell and lingering residue makes it unsuitable for interiors in my opinion. Yet another offering from 3D is their Grand Slam Degreaser. 
Personally, this is the only other degreaser apart from Sparkle Plenty I've used that can match and even surpass the Meguiar Super degreaser in its effectiveness at higher dilution ratios, which at $50 for 3.8 litres represents great value. Being 3D's strongest degreaser, it lives up to its name, providing a great cleaning action, able to tackle moderate to heavily sawed rims and tyres, but unless it's heavily diluted, it's not a great option for wheel maintenance, as it can compromise any protection that's been applied. The only issue I have with this product is it's sometimes hard to remove residue that gets amplified when working on hot days, but a good blast with a pressure washer should sort that out. And it goes without saying that it's really not a great option for interior use either. I would have liked to do a comparison with 3D's Wheelbrite if I was able to get a hold of some, as it's a direct competitor to Meguiar's Wheel Brightener, which, although is not nearly as effective on tyres, is still a couple of steps up in its fantastic rim cleaning and decontaminating ability over the Grand Slam. Lastly from 3D is their 117 BDX Brake Dust Remover. This is also the first of the decontamination and iron removal products that I'll be looking at. Like I mentioned, although some of these products can work as wheel cleaners, both their reduced effectiveness on grime and their significant price increase makes them a far better option to use on wheels after they've been cleaned to more effectively tackle embedded contaminants and be far more cost effective. BDX is a very capable iron remover working quite well to dissolve these contaminants. Although it's not the fastest working product here or has the longest working active time, it's by no means a second class item, just a small step down in comparison to its competitors. But at $110 for 3.8 litres, it represents great value and is the cheapest product in this category. And although all iron removal products stink, this is perhaps the least offensive of the bunch. Optimans Ferrex is perhaps the fastest working iron remover I've ever used. It goes to work almost instantly as soon as it's sprayed onto the surface. Starting as a light purple colour, as it makes contact with the ferrous contaminants and quickly turning to a dark purple as an indicator that its job and effectiveness have come to an end. At $140 for 3.8 litres, it's the most expensive iron removal product here, but its unmatched speedy results possibly justify its premium price. Although if it had a slightly longer working window, it would be unquestionably the winner here. CarPro's INX was the first iron remover I ever used and the product that introduced me to the brand's fantastic range of car care products. This chemical is quite different to Ferrex in that it takes a little bit more time to start breaking down the contaminants but is still working well after the Ferrex has stopped. You could debate that Optimans Ferrex just gets the job done a little faster and stops once it's quickly tackled all the embedded iron particles, which may be true in some cases, but most of the time a second application of the chemical will show further contaminants that weren't addressed in its initial application. But the same can be said for Iron X, so it's a tricky one, best left up to personal preference as I can't give a definitive answer either way, without more controlled testing. Also from CarPro is Trix. This product takes Iron X and their Tarex products and combines them into one, meaning that it's both an iron and tar and traffic film remover in one. Although it's slightly less effective on iron than Iron X, and a touch less aggressive than Tarex at gunk removal, it's a great balance of the two and a brilliant time and cost saving product in my opinion. Although iron particles make up the majority of bonded contaminants on rims, they can't address any non-ferrous particles such as tar and other road grimes. That's where tar removal products excel. And to thoroughly decontaminate wheels, especially neglected ones, the use of these products will ensure you get better durability out of any protection that's applied to the rim. This is my go-to product for decontaminating rims and the lower body panels of cars, whereas I use INX for the top half of the vehicles. I just find that for me, this makes a better and more efficient use of these products and delivers great results. 
and both these products are slightly slower and longer in their working times which fit in perfectly with my procedure of applying them all over the vehicle, working them in and then cleaning them off. At about $120 to $30 for 3.8 litres, they sit at a mid-range in price point. Concours Car Cares Purify is a fantastic new and innovative product. This takes your traditional iron removal product and adds a lubricant to its chemistry, which is the only product I know of that allows you to simultaneously break down iron fallout and clay the wheels of your car or paint at the same time with the one product, which not only saves time, but also drastically increases the effectiveness of its iron removal abilities, as the claying action also assists in further breaking down the contaminants. Depending on the particular brand you're using, you may experience some quicker deterioration of the clay, but not necessarily, and if you use this product with a clay mitt, towel or block, you should have no issues whatsoever. It's best to use this product on a wheel or a panel at a time adding a few sprays as you go to keep the area lubricated as you clay. At about $130 for 5 litres, it's one of the cheapest products here and add the fact that you save money on using an additional clay lube with time saving advantages that in a business environment equals greater profitability. Last but not least is Shell Concepts RIM7. If I had to use one word to describe my opinion of this product, it would be impressed. This is quite a brilliant product for the fact that it can do it all. With its gel consistency, it has the ability to cling and dwell far better than any product here, and its unique chemistry that can tackle both grease and bonded contaminants makes it the only product I've used that can clean and chemically decontaminate the wheel effectively in one step. For light to moderate sword rims, you can almost get away with spraying the product on letting it work its magic and using a pressure washer to take it off. Before neglected wheels, you will still need to work the product to assist it in removing built up grime and fallout. Just like many products here and out on the market, it's pH neutral balanced, but don't let that make you assume that they are gentle products. RIM7 is a fantastic deep cleaning and decontaminating product but it shouldn't be used to maintain protected rims as it will strip most products that have been applied. At $150 for 5 litres, it's at the high end of the price spectrum, but it does go a long way, meaning you use less and although still expensive, it does help further justify its price. And just a quick tip before I go, these foam action sprayers that'll fit most spray bottles are absolutely fantastic at tie cleaning as they allow the product to cling and dwell for far longer assisting in its effectiveness. I hope you found this video useful. Please like, comment and subscribe to show your support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.